Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to TF Custom Shaving Brushes Workshop. How are we doing? I hope you're all well. I see you are on the chat again there early. Brett's on the road again, but um, hopefully he'll, uh, well he's listening in anyway, I know that. Um, and hopefully he'll get to see a little bit of the stream when he gets, uh, gets back home, hopefully. So you uh, travel safe there, Brett. You're on the road. Let me just um, get the chart now. We'll see how, how things are going there. Razor's looking forward to learning more about pens and pen blanks, eh? That's going to be a little bit down the track yet, mate. Um, I was just looking at uh, how many handles I've got here, and um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and another one to add to it, which will be nine. So I've got about nine um, shaving brush handles I've got to make for customers. Um, so yeah, there's a fair few handles there to make up. Um, but I think what I'm going to probably do, I've got a busy weekend this weekend because um, I've got my height safety training, working working safely at heights um, with the SES this weekend, which is Saturday and Sunday. Um, so I've got a busy weekend, but I'll still stream on Sunday night. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I'm going to try and tack in a couple of couple of extra streams for some of these handles. So they'll be um, little sneaky streams probably that I'll do. And um, probably what I'll do is I'll put them up on the Patreon site first so that you guys can get to see them first for a day or two. And then, and then I'll release them probably to, uh, to YouTube as recorded videos. So um, people can, other people can still get to see them, but you guys will get the first look at them anyway. Um, because like I said, I've got to try and catch up on them and then um, try and move on to a few other things in the stream so that we can get a bit of interest and a little bit of, you know, something else in there other than shaving brush handles all the time. So, um, yeah, so I've, I've played around, you'll see when I flick to the other cameras, I've actually played around with the um, exposure rate again on a couple of the cameras. Um, obviously this one that we're on now, the straight ahead camera here, um, that's a bit darkened down so that you can see what's going on there. I've done the same with the other two as well that give you the head down shot and the side on shot from the tailstock end back to the blank. So I've, I've reduced the exposure and then by another couple of notches. They look okay on my, my um, viewing panel in front of me here, um, but we'll see how they are once we get them on the, uh, once you guys get to see them anyway. Um, but in the meantime, um, if everybody's all good, I think we'll get started. Um, we may also get Harry in. Harry, Harry is the fella that I'm making this um, this pearly white one for. So um, we may get Harry dropping in the stream. I sent him a link to it uh, earlier today via email. So um, he may drop in to see the making of his handle. I'm not sure. Um, so if he comes in, welcome him in anyway. Um, and I see that none of you guys have got colours above your names yet, or, or highlighted in your names. I think it's just that it's an automatic thing. Because I'm in YouTube and I've got a YouTube Buddy um, subscription running as well, to, to, so that I can monitor things in the, um, in the stream as far as SEO and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think it's an automatic thing that once you guys sign up on the Patreon, providing you fill in all the details on, the, on your profile page, um, I think it automatically just highlights your names as you just come into the chat so that, uh, you know, your message stands out more to me when I'm looking at the chat but it also lets other people know that you are, um, you know, supporting the site, obviously. Um, so yeah, so it'd be good to get your names coming up there so if you can at some stage try and get onto the Patreon and fill in your Patreon profile. I'm not sure if you guys all have uh, YouTube files I think that's maybe the URL that it needs um, I'm not sure on that one you just have to go and have a look and see if he's can sort it out and if he's can sort it out then it should um, like I said highlight your name on the software here in the chat so that I can see you know the, the patrons comments much easier than seeing them um, just everybody else that's in the chat just you guys stand out but anyway see how you just go with it if you can have a look at it and try and try and get that underway that would be great 
And in the meantime, I'll get started on this handle, eh? So the music level's all good. Voice should be all good at this stage. Um, and I'll put my little... Um, I'll put my little YouTube thing up now. Just for a little while. Because we'll be flicking to the other cameras and that anyway in a little while. And you can still see what's going on. Um, but if need be, I can turn it off in a little while anyway. Um, so that's that one, and um, I'll put the uh, Patreon one up in a little while as well. Okay, so I'm going to get started on this. So um, I had a bit of clean up in here from the other day. Um, it badly needed it, let me tell you. Just squaring up this end of the blank. I just have to get rid of those streamers. We might need the air to do that. It's amazing how the air just cuts through the streamers and takes them away. They wrap around, you can't, they're quite tough as well, you can't really break them and pull them away. And I do like to see what I'm doing because you don't know where the tip of the tool is when the uh, when the streamers are floating around there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I just don't want to hit the tip of the uh, cone on the uh, live center with the, with the tool. <coughs> so that'll probably do us and then we can take the rest out. Oh, there goes one of my cables. <coughs> oh dear. There we go. All right, that should do me for now. So we'll swap that live center out now for a, um, we'll swap that live center out now for the drill bit. So this will have to have a, um, this one's going down to Surjan to be fitted with a rhodium as well, by the way, fellas. So um, you won't get to see it fully finished as far as not being in, um, but you'll get a good idea. It's a different shaped handle, this one, to be honest. Um, I've never done this one before. Um, it's a bit of a sort of old style shape. And it's getting a 20, 26 mil rhodium fitted to it. I'm just going to slow that just a little bit. We'll set it on zero now. That's it on zero. We'll bring it in we'll just till we touch, and then we'll go into um, a depth of 18 mil. I'll just clear that and go back to the chat so I can see what's going on. And that's the same 18 mil. So we'll just back that out. And we should be done there. Now I'm hoping we get some nice swirly in this um, because we did put a few different bites in it. Um, so I'm hoping that we get some nice swirly early look to this. We should all going well. Certainly if the uh, blank was anything to go by, it should look quite nice. OK, 
Okay. So. I'm going to bring the tailstock in. Get my size there. I'll bring the tailstock in. It's about there. Lock that off. Good morning, Grey Dog. How are you, buddy? Hope you're well. Right, and I'm just going to lock the, um, the tail stock in for a little bit of support there until we get a little bit of shaping done on this one. <clears throat> like I said, I haven't done this shape before, so... Um, Actually, what I do need to do before I go too far is I do need to turn that. Um, I do need to take that down out to 27. So I better do that first. So we'll get rid of that. We'll bring this round again. And I'll set my calipers to um, set my calipers to 27. Yep, that's 27. so I can get a mark on there. going to put a mark on here and right okay so I've made a little boo-boo here, fellas, but I'm still okay. I've still got plenty of length on the blank. Um, I've done that old trick that I've done a couple of streams ago where I drilled the hole the wrong size. I thought I had the 25mm bit in it, and um, it's actually the 28mm bit. So the hole's a mil too big, so I've got to reduce that now. So I'll have to take that off. piece that I've, I've cut there but I've still got enough length in the blank so that's all good um, that was my mistake there so I'll be bringing that back up and I'll take that out this back in but first of all I'm just going to turn that blank down um, in actual fact I'll put the um, I'll put the live center in first just to hold it until I part that off that'll do it That'll do it. Okay. Put this down. It's 
Samuel, how are you, mate? There we go. Cone center back on. Okay, now we're back to where we should be. So we'll take that center out now and we'll put this in. And I'm just going to take just a little slice off that blank. Nice and gently. Um, bring this out and up. And that's us. Okay, so we'll just draw this out for um, 25 mil. So. Put that in zero. I'm good Sam, I'm good mate, how are you? All good? How's the family, all right? Okay. Right, get rid of that now. And now I'm going to put a couple of marks on this. About half and half this handle. So I'm um, 65. I'm going to take it right down to there. And it gives us 66. That'll be 30, 1, 2, 3. So there. Okay. So we'll put the live back in again, live center, and we'll just bring everything up and get ourselves set and locked in. Oh, still got to take that out, haven't I? I've got to take it out to 27. Jeez, I'm slipping on it tonight, guys, haven't I? We took it out to 25, so now we've got to take it out to 27. I need to go up a touch. OK, 
okay. See how we go with that. Bring this back a touch. And we need to go in with the skew. Probably a little bit high now. He'll stop back up again. All right. Start doing a little bit of shaping. high Still a bit uh, glary, isn't it? Let me see if I can um, just tone that down a little bit more. We'll leave it at that because I think we're going to go too dark if we go any further.
Okay, so that's pretty much the top section where I need it to be. Might just need to um, get a little bit more roundness in that there. And then I want to have a look at that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Probably a little bit more rounder there, I think. Okay, now I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to stop the um, lathe. I'm going to bring this over, the tool rest over a touch and then I'm going to have a look at that and I'm going to drop it down because I'm going to go in with a parting tool close to the bottom there. have a look at the uh, photograph that I've got just to get an idea of the shape there so we've got that dropping down there like that we're gonna have a ring there I'm going to take that in probably a little bit more there first before we do any more just a little bit more in here too high. and do a little bit of shaping in here now. <clears throat> Don't stress over it fellas, if you can't do it, it doesn't matter. I'm just thinking it might, it'll make it easier for your messages to stand out in the chat, that's all. But don't stress about it. If it's too hard, just leave it. It's no big deal. Okay.
Ahora. Guys, I'm wondering if it's maybe comments when you comment in the video. Maybe it's not in the chat. Maybe I've uh, maybe I've misinterpreted it wrong. So it'll just be a case of sussing it out. But at least if you've completed the profile, it does say something about a URL. Now I don't know if that URL is meant to be a YouTube URL. Now, um, thinking, 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 I'm probably going to end up having to finally shape the bottom of that when it's in the other chuck and turned around, but for now I just want to put a little bit more shape below that ring. Um, Yeah, well I'm seeing nothing in the in the chat at the moment fellas, so maybe it's just comments. Maybe I'll have to get one of you to comment under a video. Um, and that might explain if it's comments or if it's actual um, chat. Uh, 
stream it. have another look at this photograph that I've got here fellas just to see how I'm going shape wise yeah, it's probably still going to go in a little bit more yeah it's not one I've done before um, I mean it's Sometimes you look at the shapes and you think, oh, that's a nice easy shape. And that easy shape sometimes harder to do than some of the more complicated shapes. It's funny how it works. Real stringy streamers too, eh? They just want to wrap around and the Okay, now I think what I'll do is we'll just make that bottom section round, so I can probably go in there very carefully. Because I am very close to the chuck and I don't want to um, catch the tool on the chuck. Yeah, don't stress over it lads, I'll check it later. It was just the Patreon, Patreon sent me a message basically saying that that can be done, so that's why I, I suggested to you guys to have a look at it and um, check that your profiles are filled in properly and 
that sort of thing. Um, and it did say making sure that you put the URL in, but um, like I said, fellas, don't stress about it too much. Yeah, so just going to reduce that ring a little bit more. I think, I think the, the rest of that bottom shape I'll get once we um, put the handle in the other chuck. I think. I don't know if Harry's made it into the stream. I see we've got eight, uh, eight viewers in there at the moment. This is uh, Harry's brush. I just wanted to see if he was in the chat, in the stream. And that'll do that, I think. And then the bottom section here will get a little bit more rounded off, but uh, not too much. Actually, it's fairly square on the bottom there. It's pretty dumpy, so it's pretty much where it needs to be now. Um, the only other thing is Harry, I don't think, told me if he wanted a coin in the bottom or not. Um, let me see if I can get a hold of Harry. Right. 
so um, what I'll do is I'll take that tail stock out now and we'll um, sand that section of the handle and then I can then um, turn it around and put it in the other chuck oh yeah we've got some nice pearly in it that should come up really nice I think fellas okay get rid of that all right let's go with a little bit of sanding Man, how are you, buddy? So as I said earlier in the video, um, keep your eyes open on Patreon for some um, videos coming up because I'm going to try and see if I can sneak one or two other extra ones in, but I won't put them straight live to YouTube, I'll, I'll record them. Um, I will put them to, to YouTube as well, but I'll make it private in YouTube and I'll leave it in private for a couple of days. So you guys will get to preview it before anybody else does. 
um, and I'll put it up on um, I'll put them up on YouTube a uh, couple of days after. And they'll just be recorded ones, they won't be, it'll just be me talking to the cameras. Um, Cause I've got to try and get through some of these brushes that I've got lined up a little bit quicker. I don't like keeping people waiting too long, you know? Oh, drop a bit of paper. Relax, what's that mate? I've got to be on the go, I've got to be doing things. I didn't, uh, I didn't like this shape initially when I saw it in the photograph. It, the, the one in the photograph is a butterscotch, an old, an old style, old school butterscotch. Um, this is probably not 100% exactly the same as it um, in shape. It's the same sort of profile. Um, this is probably just a little bit more carvy-ish, so a little bit more modern-y looking than the other one. But the shape's actually growing on me the more and more I see it. Um, and yet it goes against all odds because as far as um, profile and, and um, proportions and stuff, because this one's sort of like a 50-50. Um, so it sort of goes against the rules of thirds and all that sort of thing. Um, but it still looks quite interesting if you know what I mean.
Okay, we'll go to the next paper. I just want to have a look and see if the um, those edges are rounded. Yeah, they are. That's, that, this is rounded a bit more, so I might um, round them a little bit as well. Um, That's probably closer to it now. Grey Dog lights his coffee, eh? See you all keeping yourselves entertained in there, eh?
Now, no drinks tonight. I decided that uh, I'll have my coffee when I go in after the stream because every time I brought it out here before the stream, I'd get too engrossed in making the brush and I forget about my coffee and it ends up being ice cold. So I decided not to have a, a coffee when I come out to, the, um, to do the stream now. I forget to drink it. And the best it is, it's only sitting to the side of me, but like I said, I, I just forget to drink it. So I thought, nah, I'll leave it and I'll have a nice one when I go in after the stream. And then I normally um, fast forward through the stream just to check sound and video, stuff like that. And then it's by that time, it's normally time to go to bread. Yeah, you guys are a bit like us, grey dog. You get the extremes of weather, eh? We're the same here. It's either a bushfire or it's a flood or, you know. What do you think of the shape, fellas? Yeah, drought, floods, fires. <sighs> a feast or a famine. It's one or the other. Okay, next one.
Yeah, it's um, it's a bit sort of old schooly. I mean, the like I was saying to the guys earlier in the stream, Grey Dog, that um, the handle, the picture that you sent me was of a um, an old butterscotch. I don't know if it's a, an old Boots UK um, design or if it's uh, if somebody else's design or. But it's an old, really old, vintage-looking butterscotch. Was the picture he sent me? Um, and I, I, I honestly thought the, um, I honestly thought it looked pretty ordinary and ugly when I first seen it. Um, but th it's actually growing on me now that I'm shaping this one up. And obviously, not being the butterscotch is. Um, So in making it look a little bit more modern-y, being the pair of white. I'm starting to get, as we're getting through the grits now, I'm starting to see more and more of the pearly look in it. Yeah, well this one, um, I'll let you see it in the picture on my phone, um, this one's an old butterscotch. I can't make out the, um, I can't make out the logo on it, but um, that was the, the one that he sent me. I um, don't think you can see it there, I might sit it there. Yeah, you can see it there. So I mean my shape's a little bit more modern-y I think. Um, but nonetheless, it's um, it's quite nice.
is that popping up? Are we sure we disabled that earlier? Let me just check. Last grit, well, last grit of the dry paper anyway.
Okay. No, it's all all good, grey dog. You can um, you can do what you want, mate. No problem with me. Um, just tell the lads to uh, keep it as quiet as you want it to be, though, grey dog, because um, I could imagine you'd get bombarded, mate, if it gets out to too many people. And that's not what it's about. Yeah, it's probably going to be hard for you to see this one in the camera um, but you'll see it when I post some photos up in the little 30 second video later on tonight if I can get if I get time to do it later on tonight you'll see it better than that because the, the um, I take note I normally take that little 30 second video clip and the photographs in the light tent and um, you'll see the effect of the white pearl in it much much better than that than what you will see it here in the cameras I think although you've probably seen it a little bit you're starting to see the shades coming through um, 
that it'll, it will show up a lot better in the, um, the photos in the little video clip. It's your chat fellas, you chat about what you want. I'm just doing the videos. It is pretty pearly, but that's what he wanted. Yeah, mate, T Man, yours are um, yours are going to be in there, mate. Don't you worry about that. Man, have you organised your knots through Sarjan? Or were you hoping to do it through me? Because I think he's got about a three, he's, he's got a fair weight on at the moment. I wouldn't say three months, but I know he's got a fair weight on at the moment. What size knots was it again, T Man? 30, 30 mil or 28 mils? Just jog my memory, mate, because I've got it noted somewhere, but just jog my memory, mate. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, 20, I think he does a 20, well, he normally does it to suit the hole anyway, um, 
but yeah, I'd imagine it'll be a 30 and a 28. Um, his 26 is normally 27 out of the handle, so his 28 will be about 29, 30 out of the handle. Sit them there, so I'm not holding them in my hand. No worries mate, I'll get on them and tell them to put uh, two aside for me as soon as he can um, get them to me, eh? Because I've got your, well I've got your um, hybrid sitting over there. Yeah, you'll probably see it when I stop the lathe grey dog, you, you should see the different, uh, the different whites. It is looking very, very pearly, so I'm, I'm happy with that, because that's what he asked for.
Boy, I'll tell you what, this one's coming up nice. Yeah, I've done um, I've done a couple for uh, Surjan from Rody and Knots, which were actually the full-on um, Persian jar shape. Um, they come up quite nice. I mean, it's a relatively plain shape as well, but like I said earlier, sometimes the easier shapes can be, um, you know, they can be harder to turn sometimes, the simplistic shapes, than some of the more complex ones, you know. I think we put, um, I think I put a couple of different pearls in this and I also put mica white in as well. Um, so it's, it's given it a nice look. And what you think is just plain white, when you turn it, it's got, it, you can see that pearly look in it, you know. It looks plain, but then you just move it slightly and it's got, the, it's got that pearly look in it, you know. It's quite amazing actually. You'll see it better when I do the little 30 second video later guys. And a couple of photographs in the light tent. You'll see it, it'll, it'll come right up then. Yeah, I do have a good eye. I've, I've always considered that I've had a good eye for shapes. Um, what looks right, what doesn't look right. Um, and it's, you know, it's something that it's always, it's always been there with me. I mean, some people struggle with it. Some people just can't do a shape, you know, um, and make it look right. But sometimes I get a little bit restricted um, when you've got to do shapes to a particular size or whatever. And you sort of look at it and you think, no, it doesn't look right. Um, but unfortunately, your hands are tied. You've got to work to the dimensions that, that you're given, you know? Um, so sometimes I don't like that part. I like being more freehand with it. Um, 
and making the shapes work for what I think looks right. Because I hate turning something to shape and I know that it's not right or it doesn't look quite right but it's what the customer wants, you know, so um, unless you're given that free reign to change it as you feel you need to, then it's sort of, I don't like it when I'm in that situation when you, you know, you know something doesn't look right but you've got to do it because that's the shape and size of the drawing that they gave you. But I'm happy with this, the way it's coming up. So we'll get rid of that. We'll grab a paper towel. And we'll just give it a light rub off. If I can finish that bottom properly. Um, once I turn that around. Good, that's come up beautifully, just straight off like that without even taking it to the buffer eye. But I will take it to the buffer because I reckon it will put a little bit more shine on it. Alright, um, We'll release that now. I'll stick stick sit a knot on it for you. Um, obviously the uh, the rhodium will be bigger, but let me um, tilt that up. I don't know if you're going to get to see the opal in it. It's one of those colours that's pretty hard to capture in the camera, I think. Let me try a different camera. <sighs> no, it's going to be blown out as well, just with the cameras. You'll see it in the photographs, fellas. Um, you'll see it in the photographs. It does feel quite nice. I mean, I've still got the bottom waist bit on it, so once I take that off, I'll get the um, I'll get a proper feel for it. Um, but just let me get rid of this chuck first. Okay, we'll um, we'll set this on. We'll expand that out. Um, we'll take the bottom up. Take the bottom off. I mean, I just want to see how that turns there. We'll bring this in so we're ready. We'll lower that right down. in the tailstock locker off, give it a little bit of support. Shouldn't need too much. And then I'll just nip this chuck up. This is the part I always hate, tightening this chuck in the uh, in, in a, an expansion mode. Um, fortunately you don't get too many resin ones that explode on you but I have had timber ones crack on me when I've tried to tighten them up. Alright, let's see how we are there. Yep, we're okay there. Actually I'll use my um, bedan for that I think. I'll just take that off. Take the bulk of it off with a bedan because it cuts quite nicely. Right, 
Right, get rid of those shavings and then we'll do, take the rest with the... Uh... Part two. Now that we can see. Clear that. There we go. So now we'll just um, do our usual. Come with the um, spindle gouge using the uh, the wing of the spindle goes just to scrape the bottom to clean it up. Okay. We'll have a look see how we are with that. I'm just going to round that bottom edge over a little bit with the sandpaper once we get to it. Yeah, that's got heaps of hollow in it now. Okay, so we'll slow it down again. Might go to there so you can see that shape now the other way around and just you know what I'm doing on the bottom here is I'm just blending that bottom sharp edge into the, uh, the rest of the handle now just to give it a nice feel in the hand
I should check and see if um, see if Harry replied to me yet. Um, yeah, he wants an antique silver coin in the bottom, so we'll um, so we'll just stop with that now, and we'll we'll um, go straight to putting the coin in. So we'll change that over. Um, we got our 25 mil bit in there, which is the one we need. So we'll bring that up. Nice and slowly. So one zero. That's just probably a bit there. And we're only going to go in about four and a half mil. That'll do that. Okay, so now what I need to do is just sand that edge off, um, round that edge off a little bit. And I'm probably on the wrong shot for that now. So that's just got a nice finish around that. Now we'll just touch up that inside edge. Take the sharp edge off it. And then we'll do the same on the, the round at the bottom. And I think we're almost done. We can um, hit that with the wet now, smoothing it all out. I'm liking the look of this. Okay, we'll just go quickly with the um, 
soft touch pads now. I'm excellent, mate. I'm excellent. I'm just giving this a quick once over because it's looking pretty good. But I just want to get that extra bit of sanding on it. No worries, grey dog. We'll catch you. Uh, we'll catch you next time if you have to drop out, mate. That's no problems, buddy. Thanks for your company again, mate. Much appreciated. Fellas, we'll just give that another little dry off. Yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's take it off and we'll get it over to the um, we'll get it over to the buffer we'll give it a nice light buff then we can come back and set the coin in place so we'll get our board up there ready Got a glue stick there, and we've got some epoxy there. All right, I'm just going to go and um, give it a. Actually, I'll give this a blow down first. We 
we've got streamers and white stuff all over the place. All right, I'm going to go to uh, the grinder, a buffer, sorry guys.
Okay, and while I'm here, I'll grab a coin. Uh, which ones are they? They're the antique silver. Oh, they're the brass. Yeah, that's the silver. That's good. So, there we go. Looking nice and shiny, but um, what I might do before I do that, I might put it back on here and just touch it up with a little bit of um, the old plastics. Um, I've got another, I've got the two light blue and white uh, ones to do for them and then I've also got the, um, the other galaxy blank to do for them and that'll be the main part of it done and out the way. Why is that, Sam? Um, put yours back here, right? Eh? Or maybe even that one? No, that one. Okay, right, let's take it off and we'll um, set the coin in. And get it open. There we go. We're just going to mix up a little bit. We don't need a lot because we're only setting the coin, we're not setting the knot. Now, by the way, I did forget to do something, so I better do it now. Um, Welcome to all on the page, but welcome especially to my patrons.
Um, oh, why has Brett's name disappeared? Catman Shive. Why has that disappeared? We'll need to sort that out, won't we? Give me two seconds there. We can't have that. Just bear with me. I'm a man, I don't do too many things at once. So just, um, we'll fix that shortly. This is a five minute epoxy, so I want to make sure we get this in place. Hopefully I'm not leaning in your view there, in the camera. So we're just going to sit that in there, and I'll give that a second. Now, let me have a look here, what's going on? Because we can't have that. There we go, all done. And I'll just make a save of that again. So the next time I import it, it'll import it as it should be. Okay. Editing on the fly, how's that? Editing on the fly. So I'm just getting rid of a few watermarks, water splashes around here, fellas. Um, so yeah, there you are. Thank you, patrons. Your name's there in green lights now, Brett. Green lights, mate, look at that, in green. Right, let me get rid of my glue board now because we're all done with that. Ah, get rid of the popsicle stick in the bin there. We'll grab a fresh paper towel and we'll get a little bit of methylated spirits. And um, we'll just give around that uh, medallion a, a little white. I don't think there's a lot of um, I don't think there's a lot of um, epoxy there, but um, there's a tiny little bit, so we'll just get that off. Um, before it sets.
So I'm sorry, I'm off camera here. I should be doing it on the camera. So I'm just going around the edge of the coin, making sure that there's no epoxy residue left there. There was a little bit more than more come out than I thought there was originally. So um, just want to make sure we get it all away. The coin's still moving in there as well, so the epoxy hasn't quite gone off yet or started to go off. You know that thing, the more you play with it, the worse you make it? Sometimes that's true. And I think we're nearly there. And then I'll just use the other end, we'll make sure that we just give it a Quick once over, make sure that it's clean. Don't need a lot, just a quick general wipe around the bottom. And then that'll do it. Yep. Okie dokie. Um, let me just pull up the live stream, fellas, so I can see what's going on. I, it, um, it cost me about, uh, to get the antique silver and the antique brass was about $600 and I only got 50 of each. So it's, um, they're not cheap. Um, these are proper metal ones too, so you can actually use a magnet hanger if you want to hang them up by a magnet. But um, they're not cheap, mate. Um, to get the one-offs done, it would cost an absolute mozza. Actually, I don't even think they would do a, a one-off, to be honest. Um, there is cheaper ones you can get that are actually made of epoxy. And I, I, I do know a couple of guys are using them. Um, nowhere near as good, obviously. And the epoxy tends to go yellow. So um, that was why I stayed clear of the epoxy. Um, they're, they're like an epoxy button and then they've got a print underneath them. Um, I stayed away from those ones because like I said, the, uh, the epoxy goes yellow after a, after a period of time. So um, I didn't want mine going yellow. I wanted them to be as good, that, you know, years down the track as the day they were, in, they were put in the handle. So um, these ones will be like that. So anyway, let me um, let me just take the camera um, over for you guys, just to let you see. Let me take it to uh, camera two, eh? So you won't see the, um, if you look for the photographs of the handle later on my Facebook page, you'll see the, um, the pedal a lot better. 
it really is too blown out on these cameras here with all the lights that are around them out me. I mean, I can darken the cameras down, but because this is white and because the lights are there, um, it, even if I darken the exposure right down, it's still gonna look um, blown out. So we'll need to get it in the light tent and let you see it in the light tent. And then that's when you'll, um, that's when you'll actually see it properly. Okay. Um, but it is nice. I'll try the other camera just to see. You're seeing a little bit of the opaly there in the bottom section. Well, actually, you can see it in the, the bottom and the top there. But again, it's still fairly blown out, though. You'll have to wait till the photographs, fellas. Unfortunately, in my little 30 second video in the light tent, that'll let you see it properly. It's very nice, though. It is nice. Um, so anyway. That's about us fellas, so I think what I'll do is I'll um, shut the shed door down once again fellas and we'll, um, we'll look forward to seeing you all on Sunday night. Um, I think the next two streams I think are custom handles, so there'll be these ones here. Um, we've got this, um, let me just go back to the main shop. So we've got this gold gold one with a little bit of black that was drizzled in it. Um, so that's the gold there, as you can see. And it's got a little bit of black, just a, a smaller amount of black drizzled in through it. Um, so that's one handle that we'll be doing. And I think, I can't remember if that one's next or if it's the one after. And then I've got this one here as well, which is a, a red, green and blue mix, but it's actually mixed in some other colors into it now because um, those colours have slightly mixed in. And uh, again, that's the end of the blank there that you can see with the, with the different colours and the, and the resin. That's no indication as to what it's going to look like inside, by the way. Um, but it just shows that we have got good colour mixed through it because it's the same on both ends. Um, so there should be a nice mix and swirl of colour in this one. So this one, quite looking, well, I'm actually looking forward to turning both of these. Um, as it was the uh, the pearl one, um, I think both of them are going to be quite nice. If I change to camera two for a second, you'll see the colours. Um, let me see if I can get that in a spot where you'll see the colours. It's not too easy. Sort of there, you're just getting to see the colours and the size you're seeing the colour. Um, that end there, you can see colour. That's quite a nice one, that one. If that turns out like that inside, I'll be happy. Um, and then that's the gold one. So let the camera focus there. Um, yeah, that's the gold one with the black through it. So again, you can see there. So I'm quite looking forward to turning those two. I think those two will look quite nice. So I'm pretty sure they're the next two in line. Um, and then I think we go back to Sarjan's burrow ones. So we've got two of the, the um, two of the white, excuse me, two of the white and light blue swirly ones with a clear in it and the light colored burrow on the bottom. And then we've got one more galaxy blank to turn as well. So um, we'll, we'll get those, well, they'll be in the, the streams after obviously. And then what I'm gonna try and do after that, if we don't, if the brushes don't keep streaming in, um, oh, and I've got uh, T-Man's there as well. I've got a hybrid one there for him, and I think I've got to cast the other one. Or was the? I'll need to check my notes, mate. I've got mo notes all over the place. I've got emails and notes and text messages and um, messenger messages, and it, it gets messy trying to keep track on it all. I keep saying one day I'm just going to tell everybody to email me and send the email, and in that way it'll all be in one place, and I can log it under the names, you know. But anyway, that's how it is. Um, okay, so I think we're all done and dusted, fellas. Once again, thank you very much, Lee, for um, participating again tonight in tonight's stream. Very much appreciated. I really enjoy it. I enjoy your company. I enjoy making the brushes for you and letting you see what, what goes on here day to day. Um, we'll catch you all on Sunday. Stay safe, be good, don't do anything I wouldn't do. 
take care of yourselves and we'll see you all on Sunday, eh? Let me get the uh, get this all sorted out for you, fellas. We'll catch you on Sunday. Cheers, cheers, guys. See you later, eh? I done it again. See you, fellas. Ta-da.